Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. All right, let's craft together. Hey guys, I jumped on just to show you some new fonts that I've uploaded and I wanted to share them with you. I got all of these fonts from Creative Fabrica and so what you see on my screen in Cricut Design Space is the names of the fonts and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reload my screen um, or my Cricut Design Space because I've uploaded these onto my personal computer. Now I'm going to bring them into Cricut Design Space. So anytime you upload a font onto your computer, in order to use it in Cricut Design Space, you have to go to um, your menu area and click on View and Reload. So I wanted you to see the names of the fonts first here. And so what I'm going to do is just say Save Font File and save so if you're working on something and it's not saved and you go to view and reload you're going to lose your work so you want to always save your work before you do view reload that's if you're working on something if you're not working on anything and you just open Cricut Design Space you should be fine but if you ever are looking for a font and you don't see it in Cricut Design Space but you know you uploaded it to your computer Make sure you save whatever work you're working on and then do view reload and that's going to bring those fonts into Cricut Design Space. So these are not Cricut fonts. These are all fonts that I got for free off of Creative Fabrica. Okay. So with that being said, what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit view reload. And you see that it brought me right back to my screen. Now, had I not saved, it would have brought me to a blank canvas. So don't lose your work because you didn't save before you did view and reload. Okay. So it's going to make it easy here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to the Brilliant Soulmate font so you can see what it looked like on each one of these. All right, so we got the Brilliant Soulmate here. And that's number one. Isn't that beautiful? That is so pretty. I like that. Okay, so that's Brilliant Soulmate. So as I do them, I'm going to go ahead and move them over to the right. Now we have Surly Nita. We're going to go and locate that font. So you want to click on the X anytime you've looked for a font so that you can type in the next one. And you don't have to type in the full word. I just type in a portion of it and click on the magnifying glass. And there's the Surly Nita. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my. You guys know we're always looking for those fancy fonts. All right. Then we have Mimosa script. Click on your X and then type in Mimosa and search. And there's the Mimosa script. Okay, another really cute script font. I love them. I love script fonts. I think they bring so much character to anything you're working on. All right, now this next one is alphabet practice. I have not brought it up on my computer yet, um, but the way it looked in Creative Fabrica is if you have a child that's learning how to write, then this would be a great script for them to use. So I'm going to take a look and we're gonna to see together if that is the case. 
So we're going to click on the X and we're going to type in alphabet and click on the magnifying glass. And we have this alphabet practice here. Ah, ba ba ba, guys, look at that. Your kid is trying to learn how to write. Print. There you go. And then the good thing is you can put these in different colors. Okay. So that's your alphabet practice. Again, I got these in Creative Fabrica. And I did not pay for any of them. They were all free. All right, next up is Strong Girl. We're going to go back to our font. We're going to click on the X. And we're going to type in Strong. Click that magnifying glass. There's Strong Girl. Check that out. That is so pretty. Oh my God, I'm falling in love with all of them. I can't make up my mind. Now, of course, not alphabet practice, but I'm talking about the script fonts here. All right, let's take a look at Winter Snow. We're just gonna type in Winter. And let's see if that's it. I'm not sure. Let's click on the other one. There we go. Winter Snow. So pretty. I'm getting fancy, y'all. <laughs> All right, and then the last one is Sunshine. We're going to click on that drop down arrow, exit out so we can bring up a fresh search here. And we got our sunshine. Let's see. I think it was this one. Yep. There we go. All right. So these are all the fonts that I've downloaded or uploaded to my computer. And now I've brought them into Cricut Design Space. So you have your brilliant soulmate, your surly Nita, strong girl, sunshine, winter snow, mimosa script, and your alphabet practice. Okay. So that alphabet practice, that one, guys, that one should be a big one because I know a lot of people are always saying, how do I get a font, you know, that I can use? And there you go, right there with all your little dots and everything. Um, but anyway, I think that this one, let's see what this one would look like with my name. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, I like that. I really like that. Let's see what my name looks like on this one. You guys are probably saying, we want to see your name, Doris. Well, I do. Oh yeah. So now I got some really funky fonts to play around with when I'm actually designing, whether it's in Cricut Design Space or on my computer. But anyway, there you go, guys. So those are the seven scripts that I wanted or fonts that I wanted to um, introduce you to. I got, again, all of these off of Creative Fabrica. Um, and so check them out. Um, they have some really great fonts and some really great images. I'm going to show you for those of you that are into designing signs, the wood signs. Um, they had some really great signs that I downloaded this morning. Again, because I have the membership, I got them all full free with the membership. So let me see if I can find them right quick. Do, 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 do. I think it's this one, Sunflower Porch. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these. The grumpy old beer. Upload it so you can see it better here. There we 
one second. I'm going to shoot out of here real quick. Nope. Oops. Not what I meant to do. So that's my beer sign. No worries. All right. So. Here we go. Look at that. For those of you that make the bit, uh, the wood signs to welcome people, here's a nice cute little sign that says a grumpy old bear and his honey live here. It's cute. And let's see what else we find. So there are times that I will do tutorials not showing you how to craft anything, but how to use things to craft with. And so that's what this tutorial is. It's just to show you. And we have always bring your, let's see what that one is. And they come in kind of large because, again, these are supposed to be signs for, you know, welcoming signs. So always bring your own sunshine. And you guys know you can go in and decorate that out really nicely. I'm going to change the size here just so we can see it better. There you go. Always bring your own sunshine. <clears throat> Always stay humble, be nice or buzz. Let's see what that one looks like. Oh, it's coming in hot. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm not going to bring up all of these, but I'm just showing you some of them because I know that a lot of you do wooden signs. So just showing you how you can take out some of the creative work by utilizing Creative Fabrica. So we're gonna, so be nice or buzz off. That's cute. And then the last one I'm gonna show you that I uploaded today is in regards to um, any of the designs with the like old fashioned trucks are really cute to me. I'm going to show one of them to you here. It's called the pumpkin truck. I like this one. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, this is another one that's going to come in kind of large. All right. And let's downsize this so you can see the full thing. There we go. That's cute. Okay. All right, guys. So I just wanted to share with you, if you haven't had a chance, check out Creative Fabrica. Even if you just go over to see what you can get for free, download some of the free items. You can also sign up for their subscription. And then that way you don't have to worry about, you know, the cost of anything with the membership. But they have some really great fonts, images, and all that good stuff like I've shared with you today. These things that I downloaded this morning all were for free. You know, we like free. All right, so check them out. And if you have any questions about Creative Fabric, you can reach out to me and I'll answer as best I can. 
And thank you guys so much and enjoy the different fonts and images.